guess who's out mowing? You'll never guess. Oh yeah, he couldn't take it anymore. Um, he had to go out and mow. This, this morning was kind of interesting. Last night I got a phone call from the neighbor two doors down, Bill, and he's the one that has a German Shepherd named Beamer. And my hair is doing a Wilford Brimley thing there for a minute. Wilford Brimley? No. Mark Brimley? The character that Martin Short plays and it does this. Never mind. Neither here nor there. But, um, he called and he asked if Dad was here. I said, no, he had to work bingo. What you need? He goes, well, uh, I was wondering if he could take Beamer to the vet for me tomorrow because I have to go to work early and, um, and I'd pick him up. I th they were talking about keeping him for the night. And, uh, I said, well, I know we have a water softener guy coming in the morning, but I'll have Dad call you when he gets home tonight. Okay. So, Dad called Bill, found out what was going on. This morning when he got up, he called the water softener people and they said they weren't going to be here till noon. So then Dad's like, I'm going to go take Beamer to the vet. Off he goes. Seeing a German Shepherd in the front seat of Dad's car was probably a little hilarious. So, I'm laying in bed still because it was still kind of early and I didn't sleep well last night. And then the phone rings and it's the vet saying, Neil, uh, Bill gave us your number to call and tell Neil that he needs to come back and get Beamer because he has kennel cough and he can't be here because it's very highly contagious and he can get kennel cough to the whole clinic and that's what's wrong with him. So I called dad and I said, hey, you got to go back and get Beamer. Um, at that time, apparently he was at the shop where we keep our toilets and stuff visiting with the guys because uh, Ronnie wasn't there. And so he goes and gets Beamer and he gets the lowdown from the vet you know, take him home, you know, he can't be around any other dogs, uh, he's very contagious, Bill, who is around him, is very contagious, Dad, who was with him, he had to strip all his clothes off, put him in the washer, take a shower when he got home, had to disinfect the inside of his car, um, he's, Heidi's not allowed to ride in the car for the next three days, in case there's any kind of bacteria left in there. Uh, he took his shoes off outside and sprayed him with disinfectant. Um, you know, Bill can't come over here. It's just because <laughs> Dad's like, after a while, he goes, I'm going to make Bill come over here and help me do yard work for all this mess. I said, you can't. Bill can't come over here. He is contaminated. Because it could last anywhere from three to six weeks. So Dad's like, what did I get myself into? Um... So that was a fun morning. Then the water softener guy came and, and uh, serviced the water softener. It's working okay. It was cycling when he was here. He said this afternoon the water should be good again. Now we're just down to the final hurdle. The plumber, I couldn't think of that word for a minute, is coming tomorrow between 1230 and 230 to check out the pipes, give us an estimate, tell us what we need to do. Then... We should be good. Heidi, what you crying for, Bubba? Hey. She's down here on the floor. Because <clears throat> her dad's outside and she's not. So now, my cousin just left. I should have had him on my video with me, but I did not. I'll have to do him in a video again sometime. Since everybody's like, get him in a video again. We had a class with our software, guys. I know ongoing. Um, I'm doing billing now and he's going, I don't know what he's doing. We had a truck go down yesterday that changed out a water pump, I think. But the two new guys that we have, Juan and Larry, they're both mechanical guys. And Ron's like, there had to be, I never had to touch the truck. The guys knew what to do and knew how to do it and fix it. They did it. Usually Ron's a wrencher. He gets in there and fixes stuff. Because we've never had some really good mechanical workers before. Noah, not not mechanical. He's a good worker. Just can't fix anything for the truck. Ron's like, he still has to ask me what kind of oil to put in the truck. If you don't know, after this many years. <laughs> uh, so... 
That's what's going on around here today. Talked to Lizzie for a little bit. She was perky today, and I was a little not perky. I feel a little perkier now. Not really. Meh. I'm just kind of meh. Next Wednesday I get a blood draw, so we'll see how the thyroid is rolling. And uh, I got on my scooter today and went over to the store and got myself some lunch. They had a shrimp dinner on special for $6.99. So that's what I had for lunch today. It was nice just to get out. And the next, oh, the weather temperatures are so nice now. They're 60s and 70s for the next 10 days on my forecast. Spring is finally here. It's about time. There seems like I had something I wanted to tell you and I can't think of it because my mind is just not working well. Hmm. Apparently I did it. Oh, I'm supposed to say hey to Jackson. Hey, name a chicken after me. Hey, he had a birthday a couple days ago. Uh, he's a he's a viewer. He got a farm last year, and he has chicks. And he's got he just ordered several different kinds. I looked them all up to see if they all look like. So cute. Oh, so cute. I'd like to have chickens, but I'd want them like in the house with a little diaper on and the, 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 the follow me around. How weird. Weird, I say. Oh, yeah. My mind just is blank. That's for the people who have not seen, this is our little frog for our our uh, um, that's our logo. That's the word I'm looking for. I know I've showed it before. I love our little logo, though. We just had a bunch of stickers printed out. And uh, we have little things, you know, don't throw trash in here. Because people always throw the weirdest crap into toilets that you're not supposed to. And he, has, he got some stickers that are just the mushroom, like on top of the eye, the mushroom. Because the dot on the eye is a red mushroom. And uh, he's going to put those on some of the units that are going to be tagged as special event units. So if the guys, because sometimes the guys will go on the lot and just grab units that are convenient to, to get. And he said, once I tag some of these, they'll know, don't touch these. These are for an event. If you have one for a farm you want to grab to take out to a farm, move on to the next one because uh, you can't take this one. We just booked a wedding. Next week, we're going to take a ride over and check out our trailer unit that's being built. So, that'll be interesting. The, the event place who wants it sent an email a couple days ago going, um, can you guys get it out here so we can train our people and, and, and show them what it is and stuff? And I'm like, it's being built. We don't even have it. It doesn't exist yet. <laughs> it's probably not going to get out there till for like a month, like mid-May. I guess our first event's like May 20-something. So it's got to get out there. And when we get it, we still have a little work to do to it. Also, we have to decorate it, put in the... Uh, there's just things we got to put in it. Like, we didn't opt to have all the uh, toilet paper holders. We're just going to buy those and put them in all ourselves. And, um, and napkin holders and paper towel holders or whatever. That's all stuff we have to add ourselves, and then pictures on the walls and just decorate it to look pretty because it needs to look fancy for where it's going. Now I'm just yakking. I'm going to roll out. I got billing to do. My hip's starting to throb. That should be good. Let's take some leave. I think it's going to happen. Bye!